When I think back, I remember my friends, Oscar and Javier. We were an inseparable trio. When I thought about coming to the United States, I imagined the house with a white picket fence. So Stacy, when did your family move to Atlanta? My family moved to Atlanta um, 12 years ago. I was 18 and uh, I grew up in Utah and my dad's job brought him out here. So I came to just to experience something different than, than Utah because I had lived there most of my life. It was kind of a culture shock at first, but a good one. And there was, I, well, I've lived here ever since. And are you wondering I'm wondering too And are you dreaming Like me And it's all I understand that y'all have been married for five years Coming from such different backgrounds How did you meet? Even though uh, our families belong to the same uh, church, we attended two different congregations. We actually met at a young single adult dance. Love will help you hang So Stacy, what was your parents' opinion when you told them that you were married a At first, they were a little concerned. They, you know, growing up in Utah, they, there wasn't a lot of cultural diversity. And so they were worried about our cultures clashing a little bit and that being a problem in our marriage. But once they got to know one a little bit better, they realized that that really wasn't going to be a problem. And are you thinking what are your current ambitions, and how do they compare to the current challenges for immigrants? Continue with my parents' vision to have a better life. I am earning a second undergraduate degree in mechanical engineering at Georgia Tech. One of the most frustrating things I find is the stereotype towards Hispanics that they are brute force labor. Another frustrating thing that I find is the lack of ambition of a lot of Hispanics, which becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. And now are you calling out middle of the night now? Considering less challenges, what has enabled you to acclimate to American culture? Experiences with my friends at church, going through the education system, listening to rock and roll music, and uh, watching TBS. Someone just like you. How do you watch your cultural differences? One of the things that we tried to do is when we named our children, we tried to give them names that would work well in both cultures and could translate well in both languages. So we have Elena, or Elena. There's Talia, or Talia, and then Erica or Erika. And uh, when it comes to holidays, we celebrate uh, all the American holidays uh, with uh, her family. And we also celebrate uh, the Mexican holidays uh, with uh, my family, so the girls can uh, learn about their uh, Mexican heritage. Holidays like Cinco de Mayo, Dia de los Reyes, Dia de los Muertos. So right. What is your vision? I envision them becoming an integrated part of society, realizing that they have two very rich, very valuable heritages, their heritage from the United States and also their heritage from New Mexico, and that they can bring uh, the strengths of both cultures to the table. You basically said that <laughs> That shadow follow you, babe. Love will help you hang on. 